Well, the second meeting was about the report outs. We had uh, working groups that were looking at mobile in education, mobile in healthcare, mobile in payments, mobile in commerce, and we looked at those report outs um, across the group to see what we had in common across all of those groups. Well, first of all, it's important for the people. The more people that get on the internet, they can manage their healthcare, they can manage education, they can do payments, they can manage their agriculture. They can benefit as people and citizens and the countries benefit. Now, they benefit by using IT. If more people use more IT, it's good for the IT industry. But it has to start with the people. Well, the most striking outcome was this commonalities across each of the pillars. We looked at um, mobile education and we said it needs training, it needs content, it needs connectivity, it needs affordability. It's exactly the same in healthcare. Now it's a different set of content, but it needs training, it needs um, you know, low cost devices, it needs connectivity, it needs architecture. We went into payments, exactly the same. You need security and you need things for the people. How do I identify myself? Some of the ideas uh, moved around was like, well, a sim identifies people. And so there's a tremendous amount of commonality across all of those pillars. And that means you're not just looking at building a platform for one usage, you're building a platform for a lot of people for a lot of usage. And that's always good. Empowering develop development for a better tomorrow, I think, is about reaching those people that can't afford the broadband and the contracts and the unlimited. So we're looking at the fourth billion, the fifth billion, the sixth billion that really need to benefit for that inclusion in the country, for that being part of the internet economy, and for them to benefit. So the outcome is a lot more people benefit from technology.